you know, I've always had that question. Uh, I remember having that posed to me by one, uh, an older gentleman that I worked with. And he's like, would you, would, if, if you could go back, would you, you know, would you do life differently? And I was like, nope, not an instance. Because I like who I am. I love my girl. I would never change her. And if I did something differently, she wouldn't be the person she is today. And I love her so much. Um, I was supposed to um, go home for um, my uh, grade to our, uh, for me it was OAC graduation for high school. And uh, it was the year of the ice storm in Ottawa and Montreal and through the Kingston area and and we couldn't uh, I couldn't get home so what do you what did a bunch of students do when school is closed you can't go anywhere you have a keg party <laughs> so that's what we did and um, it wasn't long after that that I uh, uh, you know s missed you know my period and I was like okay uh, better get that checked and uh, did my first pregnancy test and it didn't work and I had to wait. <laughs> During those two weeks I was actually praying and hoping that I was pregnant. Uh, you know I just had this feeling deep inside that I would be missing something if it didn't happen. Um, I remember I, I'm, I told him before I went home for um, spring break so we have February spring break and so I told him then and he wasn't, um, to put it nicely, he wasn't very receptive of the idea. He didn't think I was telling him the truth. And, you know, some guys, especially at that age, think you're trying to, like, hold them down. And I think that was, you know, he thought I was trying to, to hold on to or create a relationship where one really didn't exist. As sad as it is, sweetie, uh, that was the last time I saw him. I figured it was his loss. Yeah. And it proved to be his loss. Well, so it took me a full week to tell them because I came home for spring break and Megum, she picked me up. And um, so I was like, okay, I'm going to tell her in the car ride home because, you know, this is a good time to talk. We got four hours to drive home. And I was like, okay. But that's also when she told me that my grandpa uh, was, was dying of cancer. So, not the best time to bring up, hey, by the way, <laughs> I'm gonna have a baby and I don't know what to do. So I finally told um, Magum and I said, okay. And she knew, she knew something was going on. She knew right away. And I didn't, I don't even think, I don't even think I told her the words. I didn't even say it out loud. I just said, I have something to tell you. And then she says, are you pregnant? And I said, yes. The next day, that's um, when I found out my father was going to, to die. And, um, sorry, I, I looked at it as, uh, as, as, with him, he was going to be replaced by someone in her family and uh, it was uh, sort of made it more special. Uh, it helped um, me get through um, my father's um, passing because we were excited about having a baby come. My, my dad, that was his one last wish was to be a great grandpa. I knew I had my parents' support, so it was, it was a no-brainer from them. And it was just, uh, I, I, it was amazing uh, to see you being born. Uh, it was a terrific gift for me. It seemed more special to me than, in, in some respects, than having my own children. Clean her up first, and once she's back, then you can't have her back again. <laughs> so I'll give you, I'll say it that way. I didn't want to give, once I held you, I didn't want to give you up. 
So you were, uh, and they, and somebody, at, at one of the nurses, I think, asked not too long, well, I think once I had you in my arms, they're like, so what are you going to name her? And I'm like, oh, Courtney, instantly. I knew right away, as soon as I saw you, you were Courtney. I, I had it, there was no doubt in my mind. You were uh, a mother-daughter team that I've never seen before. Walking you to school, and then not walking you to school, but s sort of standing behind you 50 yards back so that you wouldn't see me walking you to school because uh, you wanted to be independent on your own. Um, those are the things that are that I remember, that I cherish. Uh, it's I have a picture with you and me going to school and I'm, I'm downstairs in my TV room and it's right there and I look at it and I said, wow, what happened to that kid? And I couldn't, you know, you're, you're my best friend. I couldn't have asked for somebody better to spend my life with. I'm happy with just my mom. I don't want to just have, like, I, I don't see it as I'm missing something. I see it as it's just us. <laughs> And I like that.